Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be discussing the difference between a VPN and private browsing or incognito mode. Now that's a question I get a lot. Uh, which one should I use if you want if I want to stay anonymous? Um, each one kind of has its different use and people see this a lot now because the incognito mode or private browsing, safe browsing, whatever you use is built into your browser and VPNs a lot of times you have to pay for. So people want to know, do I need to pay for a VPN or can I get away? with the safe browsing or private browsing mode for what I'm trying to do. So let's start with incognito mode or private browsing mode as some browsers call it, right? So in this mode, site data, so things like your username and your password are not stored as you move across the web. So uh, like password manager won't be filled with the password you use and the usernames. Um, the places you go won't go into your history, right? So everybody knows the settings, history tab, where you can look at the websites you go to. If you're in incognito or private browsing mode, it's not going to save the web where you go to your computer locally so that you can't see it later and other users can't see it. Basically, once you close the private browsing mode, once you close it out, boom, it's done. And then that's it. That data, whatever you did online that day is not stored locally. You don't get to see it. Other users who sit down at your computer don't get to see it, right? So let's say you're trying to hide something from your spouse. Uh, trying to go to a website that you shouldn't or you're trying to do something on your computer that you think is bad or don't want to get caught doing a lot of people will try to use private browsing mode or safe browsing mode for that effect because it won't let the next user or the next person that sits down at that computer see what they were doing earlier that day online right so um it does however not hide that information from your internet service provider governments who are trying to see or third parties attackers things like that so it's not completely anonymous. It basically only hides the information from you and anybody else in the house who's going to sit down at that computer and use the computer, right? So that's all it's really good for. It's good for um, staying anonymous in your own home. But that's about it. It doesn't keep you anonymous online. The websites you still go to, they track you all the same. Uh, the gov a government agency could easily track you all the same through that. Um, an attacker could definitely still see what you're doing online. It doesn't scramble. Um, your IP address or hide your IP address, assign you a different IP address, anything like that. All it does is hide what you did that day from you. And again, other users are people who sit down in the home. Now, on the other side, a VPN, and we do have a video that goes a little bit deeper into VPN. Uh, it's an older video, but it's it's a, still a great uh, video, still um, timely, the information still still useful. So VPNs, um, to dive into that just a little bit, give you a quick definition, a good VPN or what an efficient VPN is supposed to do is encrypt your data online. So not only um, what you're looking at, what you upload, what you download, things like that, but it also assigns you a different um, IP address, an IP address that can't be tracked back to you. So hopefully can't be tracked back to you. It's usually efficient in doing so. So when you're online, what that means is it's very hard for your internet service provider, governments or people trying to track you or attack you. It's very hard for them to see what you're doing, what you're downloading, what you're uploading when you're online, what sites you're visiting, things like that. So it is actually efficient in keeping you anonymous to a degree, right? So again, just to read, kind of reaffirm just how unanonymous or not anonymous you are, on a uh, on private browsing mode or in incognito mode, Google actually this year is settling up a lawsuit in which they were caught storing billions of units of data related to their users who were pr uh, privately browsing or using what's called the incognito browsing mode. This is this is really scary. That means that not only is it um, not not hidden from your internet service provider, government agencies, and all the previously mentioned parties, but the browsers are actually getting caught for storing, at least Google has, Google Chrome, um, you know, browser was caught storing this information. So they were keeping it inside their servers. These things that you think that aren't being, this data that you think is not being stored. That's why they got, the, you know, the lawsuit went through. That's why they lost is because they false you know, they misrepresented what they were doing. They, they were actually storing the data and they were acting as if they weren't. So uh, they do have to flush their servers. They have to delete all that data. Um, and that's 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 how that goes. So who knows what the other ones are doing now on the other side with the VPNs? That's not to say that um, the VPN service, whoever you're using. So, for example, if you're using NordVPN, 
Nord's gonna be able to see what you're doing, right? So you have to pick a trustworthy VPN service. You need to make sure it's one uh, that has a good reputation that's been in use for a while that doesn't have a history of sharing its users data or betraying its users and, and sharing their data. So really make sure that you, you pick a trustworthy VPN. So if you have any trouble with private browsing, picking a trustworthy VPN, VPNs as a whole, or just your technology at all, please feel free to reach out to my computer works. Again, the number is always at the beginning and the end of the video and down in the description. While you're down there, guys, please give us a like and a subscribe. We really appreciate it. And it helps us to continue to make these videos and bring this information to you. So thank you, everyone. Stay safe online and we'll see you on the next one.